not with me. And boy, are you in for a big surprise. I wouldn't be able to stand it. But it's not complete. What are you doing? Just indulging a little fantasy. Turn around. Surprises. I love surprises. Give me a hint. Well, this used to belong to Catherine the Great of Russia. And it's not cheap. Can I see? Sure. Over here. It's beautiful. It's only as beautiful as the one who wears it. Dinner's ready. So after Norma discovers that her lover, Polyone, has been unfaithful to her, she decides to commit suicide because she's broken her vow in chastity. But at the last moment, Polyone joins her. Together they walk toward the funeral pyre as the curtain drops. That's it? That's how it ends? The guy cheats on her and she kills herself? Well, she, she doesn't do it because of him. She does it because she's broken no, her vow. She should have taken the gold and split to Paris or somewhere. That would have been a lot more believable. But not poetic. All operas are filled with lovesick martyrs who end up dying. That's what opera's all about. Love and death. Love and death. I like that. Sometimes I think my own life is like an opera. Or at least my relationships with women. I like strong women. I like all women, but I seem to bring out the worst in them. Don't get me wrong, I love them. The way they look, the way they smell, the way they talk, the demure way they go to the bathroom with their skirts <laughs> hiked up around their waist. <laughs> The way they laugh. So, that's me. What about you? Like, what do you want to know? Like who you are, really. Like what your name is. I know it's not normal. Like, why did you steal that truck? You did, didn't you? I'm not going to tell anyone. I couldn't care less. And why do you want to know? If you don't want to tell me the truth, that's okay. No, I'll tell you the truth. I came up here looking for my husband. He told me he was on a fishing trip with his buddies for the weekend, and it turns out he's shacking up with some bimbo. What happened? I dealt with it. So now I can't go home. I don't know what I'm going to do. I understand. You do? You can stay here as long as you like. I don't know what it is, but I feel this connection with you. I feel it, too. You're one of those guys who always has to be in control. Didn't you say you thought strong women were sexy? Yeah, but how do I know you're not gonna tie me up and rob me? Maybe even slit my throat. Who knows what you're capable of? How do I know you're not gonna throw me out in the morning? Oh, I wouldn't do that to you. Can we just make love? Sure we can. I just don't want you to touch me until I'm ready to be touched. I don't think I can wait that long. Sure you can. You're just going to have to trust me like you want me to trust you. Don't you think trust is sexy? Uh, wait, what? What? There's somebody downstairs. Wait here. Hello? Where is she? Go ahead. What are you doing? 
Champagne for two and my color lipstick on the glass. Let me explain. You've got some little trollop in our bed, don't you? You stick your dick in a shrub and stop for a road today. You worthless piece of shit! I'll fix her ass for good! She gets dangerous when she's like this. Yeah, well, so do I. No, please, please, there's no time. You've got to go. Don't touch me. Oh, let's go. Oh, Thank you. Me. Please, just leave my oh. Do I have to do to her what I did to the one in the restaurant? Calm down. Come on, Roger. Why do we have to play these games? Go ahead, calm down. Take it easy. You know I'll find her. But you gotta admit, redheads really know how to swing. <laughs> so till next time, kiddies. I hope you'll excuse me, but I've got a little private business to take care of. It's the only way to fry. <laughs> I've always wanted to join the Mile Die Club. <laughs> Ooh. 